Hi, everybody. We are ready for another game with Right Start Mathematics Winter Games. Today, we're going to look at a game called Multiplication Card Speed. We're going to actually play two variations of it. Um, we're going to play game P30 and game P31 in the Math Card Games book, uh, written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter. I'm your host today. I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, our objective for this game, actually both of these games, is to become aware of common factors. So let me show you what I mean by common factors. So if I have the number 72, what are the two factors? What two numbers make 72? Well, hopefully you said eight and nine. Now, if I have 18, what are common factors? Hopefully again, you're saying two and nine. And some of you are remembering that there's another set that there's also three and six. So what are my common factors between 72 and 18? Answer would be nine. Now let's hide that one. Let's just look at our 18. Let's put another number here, 24. Factors are three and eight and four and six. So again, what are my common factors between 18 and 24? I have the threes as well as I have the sixes. So I actually have two common factors in this one. All right, let's look at 24 and 56. What are the common factors? Well, first of all, we have to find the common factors for 56. I've already found 24, obviously. 56 is seven and eight are my factors. So what are my common factors between 24 and 56? Answer is eight. That's what common factors are. So let's go look at the game for the cards. We need our multiplication cards. Two to four people can play. We're gonna actually look at two games here. Like I said, we're gonna look at kind of a slow version, which is P30 and a speed version P31. So in the first one, we're gonna have two to four players. The layout, we have four cards face down in two piles. And I'm gonna show you with this as we get going. Christy's gonna help me play here today. And then we take, lay two cards face up between the two face down piles. So I'll have face down and then face up. And when we deal, we get an equal number of the multiplication cards between the players. And our object of the game is to be the first player to run out of cards. So with a slow play, which is game P30, we're gonna pick up four cards from the card pile. We're gonna using those four, we're gonna build on the face up cards based on common factors. And the common factors cannot exceed 10. Now, what I mean by this is, let's say I have the number 12 and 24. A common factor is 12 because 12 is one times 12 and 24 is two times 12, but we don't want the common factors, in this case 12, to exceed 10. When all of the four cards in hand are played that can be played, the turn is over. Then you're gonna to wanna to refresh the four cards in your hand from your pile, so you continue to have four in your hand. So let me show you real quick here how we're gonna play this. So I have a 32 face up and I wanna build on it. 32 has the factors of four and eight. I can lay an eight on there because we have common factors of eight. On top of the eight, I can lay an 18 because we have common factors of two. On top of the 18, I can lay an 81 because we have common factors of nine. Top of the 81, I can lay a 90, common factors of nine again. On top of the 90, I can lay a 40, because of common factors of 10. So you see how we keep building on this, looking for common factors. So Christy and I are gonna show you how to play this game. Okay, so we've got this set up here. I've got Christy with me. We've laid down our four cards face down. So I've got four of them here. They're face down like this. And then we put two more in the center face up. And then we've got our deck. I broke it in half. So this is, this is Christy's half, here's my half. By the way, a real quick way to tell if you've got equal, you can put the two stacks together and you can actually feel 
if they're the same. If there's one card different, you can try this with your own. You can actually feel that there's one, um, one different. So these are two equal decks. So there's Christie's. So we're going to leave them off to the side here. We're just going to take four off our deck. So we're going to show you. Now, obviously, you guys, because you're looking down, can see our cards. So Christy, show. Yep. So there's Christy's cards. We can't see each other's cards. It's just you guys. It looks like we can, but we're not. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So I've got 70. I know it's going to be 7 and 10. Well, obviously, I'm going to lay this card down. Okay. So now I've got 8 and 10. 8. This one is 2 and 8. So I've got common factors of 8. Um, this is 5 and 5. That's not going to work. Oh, I could lay this one because this is going to be... And again, if you get confused, look on the back of your cards. As you can see, let me move this up so you guys can see it real close. This is the short multiplication chart. So if I get confused, what's an 18? I can look right here. Oh, 18 is 6 and 3. Now, some people think that's cheating. It's not cheating. It's kind of like a recipe. You don't have a recipe memorized because you sat down and memorized it. It's because you kept looking at the recipe card until pretty soon you realized you didn't need it. So use these when you need to. And sadly, those of you that have played games with me know that I do make errors. So we're going to double check this one. So 18 is 6 and 3. So this is 6 and 3. This one I know is 6 and 4, so I can lay that down. I can't do anything else with this card. I'm going to go and refresh my cards. Remember, because I always keep four in my hand. So now it's Christy's turn. This is four and six, so I'll do 32. Because that's four eight, and eight. eight. And then fours, I can do four and ten. Yep. Put it right on top. Here and we go. And then, let's see, we got 54, one, ten. So 56 ten, would be... Seven and eight. Yeah. Seven and eight. What's 16? That's eight. Eight and two. two. So you have a common. So there we go. Okay. And, and what's and this one? Seven, nine, nine and eight. Nine times eight. And this was eight. Eight. So you can put it on top. She got rid of all four of her cards. All righty. My turn. Let's see what I can do to redeem myself. Let's see here. So I know that this is eight and nine. Oh, this is a nine. Um, so it's a three and a nine. That's not going to help me. Oh, three. I can do this three. Um, oh, here we go. This is eight and five, five and five. These are fives. This is seven and eight, fives. Oh, three and seven. Ha ha. Okay. All right. Your turn, Christy. Okay. So we know this is a five, so I can go eight and five is 40. And 56 is a? 56 is a seven and eight. Right. So seven and eight. Let's see your 64. hand. See your hand here. here Sixty-four. Okay, so we have the eights. Yep. Yeah. Then and then we can go. So this you said was eight and, and eight. eight, and that's so we have nothing. And this is what four, four, four and, and ten. ten and oh five 36. and eight. Yeah, four and ten. Oh, there we go. Four. Yeah, because this is four and ten. There's four. And then we have, that's it. One and three, and that's not going to work. No. Nope. Now, we talked about this earlier, that 36, you actually could say three times 12. But again, we don't want our factors to be over 10. You could say three and 12, and then you'd have a common factor. But again, we don't want our factors to be over 10. So this is how we play the slow game. All right, let's go look at the next game. So let me show you now what the speed game looks like. It's very similar. It's a lot more exciting and far more interesting. So we're only going to have two people sitting across from each other. Again, Christy's going to help me out because we got, we got the hang of this here. Our layout is the same as the slow game, but we have no face-up cards by the reserve pile. And I'll show you where that's going to come up in a minute. And the deal is going to be the same. The object is the same as to what we've been doing. Now, here what's different is both players pick up our four cards. And we're both ready. Then we flip over the top cards. Actually, we're this way. And we're going to flip them over. And the speed is going to start. And we build on the face-up cards using the common factors without regard for turn. 
So we're just going to play willy nilly. And the point is, is to be the first one out. We are ready to play the speed game. We've got four cards here face down. We each have our stack. Here's mine and Christie's. So take, go ahead, take four cards. Okay, I've got mine. You've got your four. Let's just show them so everybody can see. There we go. So we're going to do one, two, three. We're going to turn them over. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. 32 is eight. 32 is eight. So eight and, isn't eight and three? Eight and three is 24. Eight and three, 24, 24. So eight and three. Um, eight and six. Okay, I don't think, oh, I can take more cards. So this is eight. So this is seven. This is seven. Isn't seven and six 42? Let me just check real quick. 42 is yep, seven and six. Oh, but now she got it. Darn it. So seven. Oh, this can be still be sevens. This can be sevens and sevens. These are eights. There's an, here's an eight. Oh, there's an eight. <laughs> See how you want to go fast with this. So we're on eights. So and these are sevens. Sevens and sixes. Now there's sevens, okay. Boy, I am not doing well. This is eight. You can take two more cards. So we got eight. Oh, eight. Okay, you can do an eight. Oh, I can do a 10. I make that a five. Or I can make this a three and a three. And that's a two and a, two and a nine, three and a, three and a nine, three and a nine. Oh, so then I can do that. No. Ha! I can do that because that's a nine and a nine and nine. Do you see how fast this can get to be? Oh, here's three and seven, seven. Oh, that's not right. Could have gone the other one. Um, 18, eight, 18 is 12. This is nine this two. is two and nine. Here, I can do two and six. Two and six. Oh, here's 30. That's three and 10. That's three and 10. Oh, so I can lay these. Yep. Ah, we got that one. <laughs> oh, I can do another one. Oh, and I oh. can do 45. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> um, so you see how much fun this game can be. You really have to be thinking fast. Wow, that was fun. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Now, go play the multiplication card games with your kids. Um, definitely start with the slow version, and once they become confident, they know what they're doing, and they've got their facts down, then you do the speed game. Enjoy, have fun, have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody.